Anyway, moving on from that, moving on from that, let's talk about this briefly. Very, 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 very briefly. Where can I see it here? Yeah, cause this, is, this is a clip close to find the kids. I've read it. It features, um, it features, it features, it features, it features Dan Soda and Bobby Kelly. And Bobby Kelly decides to ask Dan Soda a very messy question, a very spicy question, and tries to act very innocent like he doesn't know what he's talking about. This is Bobby Kelly posing to Dan Soda a very homeless question, a very, very homeless question. Here it goes. How long has Dan been on Fighter and the Kid subreddit oh they go they're they're going for trolls everyone looks at subreddits. what is that it's a subreddit on it's a it's i don't go to reddit oh it's like a place where they bash brendan Schaub's podcast oh really you, are you <laughs> well comics all the comics have because when you hear about it you're like you know there's this whole subreddit like bashing all the la comics and you're like let me take a look at that oh really that's a better that's a better reflection on what that sub is now it's less so than a sub about Shaub and Callan and the Fire and the Kid and more so a, a podcast or subreddit that calls out all the nonsense that those LA guys talk about and for the most part it's done kind of in gist in jest sorry it's got done with a kind of tongue in mouth um it's done you know to be kind of funny I don't really think in there anybody's quite mean-spirited but the funny thing about it is that most comics again most of these guys are very thin-skinned super 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 thin-skinned right and I think a lot of these guys and girls just don't know how to take it when people have constructive or just negative comments to say about what they do like they just aren't there kind of like sucking them off and just you know praising them to high heavens they just don't know how to react to it because that's what i see on on the flipping stream on the subreddit sorry i see people pointing out when guys fuck up words say weird stuff um have a horrible take or just generally are unfunny and these comics just don't know how to handle it they get all thrown into a tizzy. They start complaining. They start crying. They start going on these rants about not reading comments, about social media isn't real, Reddit is full of demons, all this nonsense stuff just to kind of cope with the fact that there's a very small minority of people in the grand scheme of things. Some of these comics or these comedians are multi-millionaires. Some of these people go on tours. They fly in private jets. So you'd imagine the majority of the people out there like what they do because clearly they're being rewarded with it monetarily and with flipping success and careers and what else that they're doing so clearly the naysayers in that small community on that subreddit aren't the majority of the fans out there most of the fans like what they do but they still can't handle it it's weird isn't it being stand-up comics being people who are on the front lines of you know the anti-establishment cancel anti-cancel culture saying what you want you know flying off the seat of your pants and stuff being fearless will, willing to upset people but then someone says your special sucked if someone says you're not funny if someone points out you don't sell as many tickets as you say you do or that the stuff you talk about is absolute bs or that you're a liar and a cheat and all this stuff they start crying it's absolutely incredible it really is because i'm sure these guys all say far worse things about each other behind each other's back we don't know these people so it shouldn't really hurt as much if people don't know you and they say crazy shit about you it shouldn't hurt you as much as it hurts when your actual people that you actually know say it that's what i think anyway but again what do i know every every besides bobby all the younger folks not the old folks home all the young folks have gone and looked because it's like a spectacle but fighter and the kids <laughs> subreddit was like a place where uh -huh. everyone was like oh you know they're shitting on brendan shop and brian callen right and you'd be like oh really and you go look and then another comic would talk about it and you're like i looked at that place you know <laughs> and then there was some shit going on with annie letterman who we both love that i went and read the reddit because i was like this is like it was like gossip it's like really it's like what gossip. they say about her there was like her and shop had a problem oh really oh yeah. the thing yeah, yeah where he, I, uh, guess, like, I heard about by the way, by the way, by the way, this thing there that happened with Shaw, again, this is the thing that, has been, that makes me laugh about this thing. 
don't look too deep into it. It's not that deep with the Brendan Shaw thing. He's just a very unlikable person. I think there's many people out there are unlikable. And on the internet, if you're unlikable, people will take the piss out of you because it's a way to kind of cope and deal and to kind of put up with your unlikableness instead of getting annoyed and wanting to cancel you. Let's just poke fun because the opposite reaction would be, hey, let's get this guy canceled for everything and have him back working in a flipping kickboxing gym. No one wants that. No one cares about these people as much as they think they people care about them. But, if you're a sensible person and if you're a kind of well-to-do straight laced person you could just look at the fact that there have been catalogued occurrences that show that brendan shaw allegedly may be a cheater a serial cheater to the point where he's asking fellow comedians to walk him to his truck right to the point where he's trying to fuck one of his comedic friends girlfriends at the time to the point where he's asking for baddies and addies that all flipping hours a night to BGL. If you were just a normal straight-laced person, you could say, hey, I don't like you because of that. Not because of your comedy, just because as a person, morally or principle-wise, whatever it may be, I just don't like this type of attitude. I don't believe in adultery or whatever it may be, right? If you're one of those kind of squares, you could be like, hey, I don't believe in adultery. I just don't like you because I know you maybe have done these things or you've been accused of these things. But for some reason these comics can't even understand that side of things like it doesn't make any sense it's all hate it's all this like no 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 there's some people in that sub just don't like him as a person there's some people in that sub that hear that story about him good douching that guy through a window in flipping college because he wouldn't share his food with him and think hey that's bully shit that's mean shit that's stuff that i don't stand for and hey i don't like you anymore simple as that that could be all of it but these guys don't want to talk about it don't want to address it because you know why because some of them do that stuff themselves or some of them have far worse skeletons in their own closet so they just shut up about it that yeah everyone heard about it <laughs> you just got to go to the place where you read it yeah. and you fill in and you're like okay you know just some homeless cats that's all what they call themselves <laughs> they're, just, they're just sitting there i don't know man it's, it's just pfj <laughs> but here's the thing though like those guys that talk shit yeah are funny even if they weren't funny I legitimately think it's not that big of a deal. I really don't. I think these comics make far more out of it than what it is. And I think, oddly enough, similar to the no jumper thing, I think the fact that they're so scared of just a few people, a very small minority of people in the grand scheme of things, having some negative things to say about their work has essentially made those things far more important than what they are. And now you have people, I feel like, going out of their way to say funny things on comments on podcasts so that these guys will see it and it'll kind of you know like they, people go out of their way to be mean sometimes i feel like online because they know these comics will read comments because they give it power they're basically making it you know they basically make it obvious that it hurts their feelings so if you're an actual legit troll an actual legit shit poster what are you going to do the first thing you're going to make sure that you tease these guys and get under their skin so that they know you know that you're there and you're out here and you don't like what they do so essentially, kind of like the No Jumper guys, when the No Jumper Reddit decided to pop off, they decided to weigh into it way too much. They decided to read it too much. And those guys started to play them like flipping puppets. And then the whole entire platform ended up kind of imploding in itself. These guys, I feel like I've empowered those guys too much. And now we are where we are. And I also think in the grand scheme of things, just because a few people online don't like what you do, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. I said what I said earlier about Burt Kreischer and Tim Dillon. Some of you guys don't like Burt Kreischer, but look at the guy's views on his channels. Look at his views on his, look at his amount of engagement he gets on his social media posts. Clearly, the majority of the people out there, whether they're redacted or not, they love what he does. So for him to sit there and be annoyed that people like myself think his laugh is annoying, we think his stories are fake, and we think he's generally just an unpleasant person to look at because he's clearly a functioning alcoholic with a beet red face, he shouldn't be annoyed by that or be bothered by it because the majority of the people out there pay for his lifestyle. They afford him an, an amazing life where he can put his kids through great schools, he can look after his wife, look after extended family, and fly around in private jets and perform stand-up with his T-shirt off. He's living the life. He's absolutely smashed it. It shouldn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. But what it does show that you know even though we don't matter small minority people out there we kind of do matter because these guys and gals are so used to people sucking them off buying everything that they do and just kind of essentially indulging them in all their nonsense and the small minority of people that don't they just can't handle it they simply cannot handle it 